Welcome to September's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is maximum length of a concatenated string with unique characters. Given an array of strings, uh, string S is a concatenation of, of a subsequence of R, which have unique characters. Return the maximum possible length of S. Say we're given a list of these strings here. Our longest concatenation would be either UNIQ or IQUE, because that's going to be how many unique characters there are. Now, notice there's nothing to be said here about having unique characters within this substring here. And basically, we have a constraint that is pretty small. So let's not overcomplicate this, OK? Let's just do this brute force. Try to find all possible concatenations writing a depth first search recursion. And we're going to pass in a hash to keep track of what the characters we've seen so far are. Now, at any point, say for example we see UNIQ, we are going to check to see have we seen from the previous uh, total sub substring any of these characters in here. And we see that it, it is indeed. What we're going to do is skip that and move on to the next one. So we have to check every single one that comes after to make sure that we have every single subsequence. So that's going to be a 2 to the nth power, uh, but it should be fine because it's pretty small here. So let's first initialize the length of R. And we're also going to have a self.output to keep track of the longest length. All right, so let's write our depth for search. What do we want to pass in? We're going to pass in the starting index as well as a set. I'm going to call it st. Uh, that's going to keep track of all the characters that we've seen so far. Now, you can certainly pass in a list or the string itself, but I'm going to pass in a hash to make it a little bit more efficient. So in the base case, if i is equal to n, that means we've reached the end of our array. So let's store our output. We'll say self out the output is equal to max of output and the length of this set that we're passing in, right? That's going to be the hash of all the characters we've seen. So for, uh, we'll call it j in range of i to n. We want to check every single uh, str string that comes after this one. We are going to first, we'll have a temp. And this will be the set of this characters here. And we want to check to see, let's see, for a character in array of j, if c is in, or I should say, yeah, in the set that we've passed in so far, then that means we're going to have to break this. Okay, so we're going to reset our temp, and we're going to break out of our loop. And this actually, we should probably um, make sure that there's no repeating characters within this string as well. So uh, to do that, I'll say if length of ARRJ, make sure that's equal to the length of set of ARRJ. Because there could be repeating characters within this string itself, right? But still, we do want to call our uh, depth for search for the next one. So this would be depth for search j plus 1, and we're going to pass in uh, the set so far, as well as concatenate this set here. Make sure to add to our temp every single time. Say temp add character. So finally, we just need to uh, call this function and then return the self dot output. And that should work. Let me see if it does. Okay, self dot up it. Okay, it looks like it's working. Okay, there we go. So, time complexity wise, this is going to be two to the nth power. Uh, plus, actually, this checking of the of the string itself with these sets. So, I actually think it might be plus n to let's call it m being the average length of these these strings now for whatever reason when i look into the details it's this is very slow uh, we can actually do this iteratively and make it a lot faster it's actually not any different time complexity wise really but for whatever reason it seems to be faster on leak code so what we can do instead of calling a recursive function is we'll have results and we'll just have an empty string here this is going to be kind of what we build up upon as we move along so we'll call it for word in r uh, the first thing we'll check is for, uh, I guess we'll call it r in results. 
we're going to calculate a new R to be equal to R plus word. Now, if the length of this new R is not equal to the set or length of the set of this new R, that means there's repeating characters. So just continue here. We don't need to do anything. Otherwise, let's add our new R to our results. And let's also keep track of the, the output. This would be output equals max of output and length of new R. And once we finish this, we can just return our output. So this is actually the, pretty much the same thing. We're just doing it iteratively instead by adding to our results here. So this also works. Go ahead and submit it. And there we go. So this is a lot faster, even though the time complexity is the same. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm just going to guess that it's got something to do with how we check our previous number of characters that we've seen. Uh, I suppose for whatever reason, this is a lot faster. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.